Hello friends. Welcome to another new video from the Business Story and Biography channel. In today's video we will learn the success story of OnePlus Mobile Business. When OnePlus announced all people thought, it is another Chinese brand mobile. But, they changed the story. Here we are going to talk about How OnePlus succeed in the mobile industry. Almost all the big tech companies You know started small, OnePlus is not an exception. It began as a startup. But now, this manufacturer is the number one phone brand in India, and also, these devices are recognized in many world countries as one of the best for all users. The approach from OnePlus from the beginning is different. OnePlus got feedback from users and design. They're mobile accordingly with reasonable price. They break the dough about flagship mobiles pricing. Their motto is always to provide flagship level mobiles with low price. They turn from the group audience mobile into general audience. Within a short period, they earned a lot of loyal customers. Most of the users who use OnePlus are rarely moved to other mobiles. They are not only focused on the hardware, but Oxygen OS is also better custom skin. OS in the Android market. They always provide regular patch updates. Some manufacturers doesn't offer security patch updates for a lot of reasons. About OnePlus. Surprisingly, OnePlus has not been around for so long but have recorded tremendous success, as well as gained a high market share. It is a Chinese smartphone brand. Founded in 2013 by Pete Lau and Carl Pei. While Lau is the CEO, Carl Pei has worked fervently with Lau to get on a plus to this height. It is at the moment. On a plus success story. 2013, the journey begins. In 2013, on a plus was founded as a Chinese brand to manufacturer. Mobile phones and accessories. The CEO, Pete Lau, was an ex-worker at Oppo Electronic. Lau started his brand in December 2013. The company's official HQ is located at Shenzhen, China. However, now this brand is available in 43 countries globally, reported in March 2016. Oniplus got into a licensing deal with Cyanogen, an American software company to load their devices with Cyanogen Bob. However, this licensing agreement was later cancelled, which led the company to think towards coming up with its OS, Oxygen OS. 2014, the firstborn arrived. Precisely, on April 24, 2014, the first smartphone from this company was launched. It is the Ana Plus One, a device with entry-level specs as well as sold at a very considerable price at that time. This mobile was sold out well in India some months after its launch in China. A lot of Indians went for this debut device from the company, and OniPlus seemed pleased with that. OniPlus One sold out massively in India than in other countries. Towards the last quarter of 2014, Micromax, a top licensed indigenous smartphone maker in India ruled against OniPlus. Claiming it has all the exclusive rights to manufacture phones with Cyanogen mod software. However, after much arguments, OniPlus was granted full rights to operate in India. This also triggered the invention of Oxygen OS to replace Cyanogen Mod. OniPlus began to operate in India in December 2014, a few months after the launch of its first ever smartphone. Coming to the revenue generated by the company in 2014, it is reported that the company earned over $300 million in the said year. However, there was an official statement to the total number of devices sold by this brand that year. Rumors had it that the brand sold over 1 meter pieces of OniPlus One smartphone in its first year. 2015, OniPlus 2 and Oxygen OS came forth. In July 2015, the company unveiled the successor of its first smartphone, it was the OniPlus 2. This smartphone was tagged the flagship killer of 2016, and it did come with great features and specifications to compete with the then leading flagships from other top brands. Also, in 2015, the company stopped stocking their device with Cyanogen mod software and went on to develop its custom OS known as Oxygen OS. Oxygen OS is currently one of the best custom OS with a load of vibrant features to its forte. However, as time went on, OniPlus also introduced Hydrogenos. In 2016, XDA developers published that a company, OniPlus, is actively merging both platforms, Oxygenos and Hydrogenos, to become a single cohesive operating system. OniPlus X was also launched in 2015. It was the first smartphone from the company with 5 inches screen. 2016, 2018, 
Nothing significant happened from 2016, 2018 expect that the company was able to release quite some premium devices to its global users. These smartphones were all flagship devices that made ways in the market. The mobiles include, Honor Plus 3, 3T, 5, 5T, 6, 6T. Also, in 2018, Honor Plus 6T pushed the company to become the number one premium smartphone brand in India, overtaking Samsung and Apple. Honor Plus 3. Unveiled on the 14th of June 2016, this was the company's first metal underbody smartphone. It came with Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 chipset coupled with 6GB of RAM and 64GB ROM. This phone model from the brand is still considered an excellent phone to use up to date. It also receives regular patch updates till now. 2016, November on a plus 3T, where T version born. As a successor in every year with only one mobile, they want to attract people with some enhanced features. As the variant of Onyx Plus 3, this version comes with some slight upgrades such as Snapdragon 821 in place of Snapdragon 820 in the former. The battery is more significant, and it packs up to 128 GB primary storage capacity. If you plan to buy a refurbished mobile or between $200-250 price range, this mobile is the right choice. 2017 Onyx Plus 5 and 5T in June 2017, Honor Plus 5 was unveiled, and later in November the same year, the 5T variant was announced. These two variants are powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 chip, having up to 8 GB of RAM. The later version has a more prominent display, and also supports a face unlock feature. Honor Plus 6 and 6T. Within the first half of 2018, the company unveiled the Honor Plus 6 smartphone. This was the first smartphone from Honor Plus to feature up to 256 GB ROM. Also, the smartphone is water resistant and features a display notch. Water resistant may not be included as an official feature. They cut the water resistant test cost. It may be between $20-30. But, they build their mobiles as a water resistant. Honor Plus 6T supported on screen fingerprint sensor and was launched with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 chip. It is speedy and efficient. For the first time in Honor Plus history, the 6T version released in the US market by T-Mobile. Also, in 2015 Honor Plus made a press release that it would be opened up to 5 new Honor Plus experience stores in India. Plus, it would have up to 10 new service centers in the country. Creates a record in the Guinness Book of Records. It was in 2018 at the launch of Honor Plus 6T that Honor Plus set a Guinness World Record title of the most people unboxing a phone simultaneously. 2019, Honor Plus 7 and 7 Pro. Honor Plus 7 and its variants are among the best smartphones you can own at this moment. The flagship devices are stocked with stunning features and jaw-dropping specs. They are talking about Honor Plus success story from its actualization up till now. The brand was ranked number 5 in 2018 premium smartphone segment market share, published by CounterPoint Research. Honor Plus was ranked two places below Huawei, which settled at the third position, allowing Apple and Samsung to occupy the first and second spot respectively, and Oppo has the fourth position to itself. Both 7 and 7 Pro mobiles released worldwide. You can get these mobiles in most of the online stores. Final words. Honor Plus is currently the number one premium smartphone brand in India. The company has recorded massive success in India since its inception. They struggled a lot. They learned a lot. The success reason in this story, hear your customers. They always get feedback from its users. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you like the video please like, comment, share and subscribe now on Business Stories and Biography YouTube channel. Bye.